Hi everyone, I'm Melissa Gunderson with a few of this Wednesday morning's top trends. We start with devastating news when it comes to air travel today. In one incident, reports of 51 people dead and seven injured after a plane crashes during an emergency landing in Taiwan. Authorities say it was a Trans-Asia flight that crashed off the western coast there this morning. And in another incident, two Ukrainian military fighter jets were shot down this morning in the country's eastern region that are controlled by Russian-backed separatists. A defense ministry spokesperson said that each jet may have been carrying up to two crew members each. This is the first shootdown of a plane over eastern Ukraine since the Malaysia jetliner was taken down. Now, on to some lighter news. Take a look at this outline of Apple's new iTime smartwatch. The patent was just approved this week and the news has online users buzzing. People should expect the iTime watch to be compatible with computers, tablets and smartphones, which means people should expect to be able to check their texts, emails and basic weather reports right from their watch. Oh yeah, you may be able to check the time too if you want. And of course we have time for one more trending topic right now. If you're a fan of the movie and book Fight Club, I've got some very exciting news for you. The book's author is back to writing for a sequel. This time though, he's writing a comic book series. When I posted the news onto my Facebook page earlier, people started quoting Fight Club, so it seems people here in the borderland are giving the news two thumbs up. And of course, if you have any comments on any of the topics that I mentioned here in this vlog or during my segment on the KFOX 14 Morning News, just post a comment on Facebook, Twitter, or using Instagram with the hashtag KFOX14Social.